TNT GM, the show presents Talking Nerdy December podcast. A lighter edition. And we're going to do a quick fan cast because we've got a suggestion to do a fan cast, an X Men fan cast. So I'm going to go over my X Men fan cast and we can chat about it. And now, mind you, this is my dream fan cast. This isn't reality, right? Like, this isn't something that can realistically be done. So I have Professor X, Mark Strong. Right? Like, he had the bald look. He's younger. Yeah, I know what's his name's perfect, but Mark Strong's younger. If we were go, would go with a younger... And, a, and he looks, you know, fit and everything. Oh, that's what... That's he has a good voice, mine. too. He has a good... Oh, why? What's yours? Oh. Uh, Walter White for the win. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he could. Uh, I could see him, like, pull out. The only problem with Brian Cranston is he doesn't really have a British accent. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure he could try. I'd, yeah. I'd be interested to see if he could do one. Then for Magneto, like I said, we can't get this guy because he passed away. But I thought, after seeing Ahsoka, I was like, this guy would have been perfect as Magneto. He's big. He's this towering dude. And then to see him, like, floating and, like, he has the voice, the bravado. Like, dude, he could have brought it, man. Oh, my gosh. He would have been perfect. Because, like, I love Ian McKellen. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, from the from the comics and from the cartoon, he's this jacked, broad-shouldered, tall, you know, dude. And I just think... Who, who I would have loved, perfect. unfortunately, is no longer with us. Hmm. Um, I believe it's... I believe his name is Christopher Lee. Oh. He's the guy who played uh, Dooku and uh, Saruman. Yes. He would have been so cool. Like... Just the way he talks mm -hmm. would be like a really good uh, Magneto. And like if he could get like a German accent, would be even better. Oh, for sure. That that would be great. That would be a great one. Uh, for Jean Grey, I have Julianne Moore. I, I don't know if she's a natural redhead, but she looks like it. Obviously now she's too old, but I feel like back in, in her prime, like she would have been perfect. She has the attitude. She has the voice, I feel like. She's like that perfect, like where Jean isn't like super hot, but obviously when she goes oh. Dark Phoenix, then she's mega hot. But like just normally you're like, yeah, she's like your average chick. And that's like, she's pretty. I'm not saying she's not beautiful, but she's not the hottest chick on the squad. Oh, yeah. That would have been my mistake. Uh, <laughs> Who I would choose. Okay. Karen Gillan. Oh, dude. <laughs> but the problem is she would be way too hot the hottest <laughs> one on the squad there's just no competition with that yeah unless you uh wanted to include uh miss sparkles trying to think of her name taylor swift jubilee oh yeah then you could have mila kunas as jubilee hmm, i never thought of that that's an interesting that's an interesting she, one she could look the part she could she could very easily uh for wolverine i have bob hoskins to me, my idea of the ideal Wolverine is a short, stocky dude that's hairy, he's mean, he's rude. The way he is in, in Who Frames Roger Rabbit, do that, but give him, like, you know, the hair and everything else, he would be perfect. Bob Hoskins, huh? Yes. I like that. You know what? I, I was going to say Danny DeVito. Oh, not bad. I would like <laughs> him to be Puck or something like that. Yeah. Or, you know what? They could still make this happen. You know what? Redeem Modoc with Danny DeVito. Yeah, that would be funny. That would be really because funny. Because he, he does funny really well, mm. but his funny is great because he's always so serious, mm. but the way he delivers it is so good. Oh, for sure. Which would be perfect for Modoc because my issue with Modoc is they don't have these people playing him seriously, mm. but like Modoc is a funny character, but he's also like. The way he sees himself, he's super serious. Right. And so, like, Danny DeVito could pull that off. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, Cyclops, I have Jensen Ackles. He's a big dude. He has... I like. I love his voice in The Boys. I mean, even his supernatural stuff, I feel like he's, he's a, he has that good leader type. He's handsome. Like, I feel like he's that... He, to me, he fits the mold from the cartoon, right? Like, that dude. So that's that's who I would go with. Younger. Let let me take. Let's put it this way. It would have been a younger Leonardo DiCaprio. 
okay. pre R rated movies, huh? Like Titanic, okay, era. Interesting. He 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 would be cool. Okay. Um, and then for B, I, for Beast, I couldn't come up with anybody better than Kelsey Graham. We're like, can you? Like, I yeah. I was thinking of like big dudes that could fit that, and I'm like, you know, John Cena has a goofy like beastly build, but he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that the rest of the beast with him. I don't think he could pull it off. You know, like there's other people I was trying to think of that like is there anybody that's like jacked and looks beastly but has that same like they seem brilliant. You know what I mean? Like that. So I, I don't know. I can't think of anybody better than Kelsey Grammer. I can't. Yeah, that that's a tough one because he's so he is like uh, the perfect character mm. for Beast. Just the way he talks and everything really sounds like the way you would hear Beast right, talk exactly. in real life. So speaking of having the voice, I know she's already in the MCU. And once again, like I said, this is just a dream fan cast. But I think Angela Bassett w- would be perfect as Storm. She has the voice, you know, especially like if you would have gotten her, you know, her younger, like, like I said, this is pretty much like everybody kind of like in their prime. Well, no, I mean, Ray Stevenson. But yeah, yeah, I think Adam Jabassett would have been perfect, you know, because I was even looking up like newer actors and I was like, I can't find anybody that would be better, you know? So that's going to be a tough one to do better than I think Angela Bassett would be. I would go out on a limb on this one. Okay. Maybe, maybe got to do some makeup to darken her up a little bit. Rosario Dawson. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, like I said, I, I, you have to have the African accent, you know? Yeah. Okay. Angela Bassett can do it. I don't know if... Rosario Dawson has the chops. We'd have to find out. Yeah. Uh, and then, or Egyptian, right? Because she wasn't she like in Egypt? But yeah, anyways. Uh, Rogue. This one is a hard one for me. But I ended up with Alexandra Daddario. Hmm. Because like, I was like, who's a brunette? And like, I was trying, and I'm like, she has, the, she has the build. I think she could pull... Like, I, she's a solid actress. I think if she threw on the, the southern accent, I think even now, to this day, she would be perfect. I, I got a better one for you. Okay. Anna Hendricks. Top. Solid actor. Knows how to... Knows how to play character. She's done action roles. Okay. And she pulls it off. You wouldn't think so because she looks so sweet and innocent, but that's still kind of like what, ha, what you kind of see with Rogue. Mm-hmm. Like, you're thinking, oh, she's not going to be that tough. And then she ends up being tough. Uh, the little girl, right? From Pitch Perfect. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know why I was thinking it's of... Scott Pilgrim's sister. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I was thinking of, what's the lady? She was in Firefly, and then she was like, the bad girls. Um, I forget, but yeah. I was thinking of her, and I was like, no, she would be a better gene. But anyways, uh, yeah, she actually could be really good... But I also feel like she could pull off, like, Shadow Cat. She could do that, too. But I have someone different from Shadow Cat, but she's already in the MCU, which is, um, which is, uh, she plays, um, Kate Katie Hawkeye. I saw her in Transformers, and she even had, like, a similar jacket in Bumblebee, and I was like, she would be perfect as Kitty Pride. Uh, but yeah, she would be, but Anna Kendrick would actually really be good too. So yeah. man, these are great ones. Uh, Gambit, I'm going to go with Austin Butler. He played Elvis. He has like that, he has that Southern drawl. Like I think if he focused more, I, I couldn't think of anybody else really that could pull it off. You know who might pull it off? Daryl Dixon. Hmm, he, he does have would... the Southern accent and he can grow his hair out. To actually be like... Like, if you were to get a young him, yes, I could yeah. totally see him in it. For sure. Yeah, definitely, dude. That, that yeah, would I be... A, I don't know why I can't think of his name right now. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good one, actually. Because think of uh, think of Boondocks. Mm-hmm. And, and then putting him in from there. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I think he would have so much fun with a role like that. Yeah. But, uh, so, I am a Frost, Natalie Dormer. From Game of Thrones. She was also actually already in the MCU as a very small part in Captain America First Avenger. But yeah, Natalie Dormer. Gorgeous. Amelia Clark. British. You know what? I think my wife might have said that too. 
And I was like, ah, you know what? She's cute, but I don't think she's hot enough. But that's just me personally. So, uh, moving on. Psylocke, I would go with Zeng Zi if we're going with the... With like, well, because there are different versions, right? There's the British one, and then she, and then she transfers her mind into the to the Asian one. So I was like, there's different versions. So I guess I should have come up with two different ones, because British, like, you know, it's that one's tougher for me. But yeah, Zhang Ziyi is my, I guess, the Asian one. You know, when she transfers her mind into the Asian chick, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then. Um, Mystique, I have Rosamond Pike, because I was like, who is someone who's just like a psycho bee? You know, like in my mind, I was like, that could just pull that off. And that's her. She was, she did that one movie with Ben Affleck where she was like the wife and she faked her own death. So she was a psycho bee and she was, she knocked it out in that. Um, I yeah. would have done uh, uh, Mary Weinstein, is, is, Weinstein, is that her name? Ramona from Ramona, really? For Mystique? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Because uh, she plays a lot of different roles. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, she's actually has parts in horror movies, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Then we have Apocalypse. I would go with The Rock, dude. I, just because he has the build. You do the makeup. You do the suit right. He, I think if he does the attitude right, he could do it. You know, like it would yeah. be very different from him. But, I mean, you'd probably have to alter his voice a little bit. Not huge, but just a tad. So he has that, you know, thing. But I think he could pull it off. Or just leave the voice. Yeah, I mean, if he can bring it, do just his regular voice. If he can bring it, for sure. Uh, this one's kind of just wild and out there. Which I said for Toad, Jack Black. I, just because, like, I've seen, like, a portly-looking Toad. It's just, like, goofy. You know, does this, like, the spitting globbits. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. That was just random. Jack Black for Toad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It was random. Um, oh, Haley Steinfeld. That's her name for for um, Kitty Pride. Uh, Iceman. Um, he's not well known. He's not a well known actor, but he's uh, Dacre Montgomery. He has that like rich boy, or not rich boy, but you know, just I I personally like the uh, what they've done in the comics with Iceman, where they go like, oh, he's gay, you know, and he's just discovering it, whatever. Because the relationships he's had in the comics, dude, like he overdoes it. Like the way he talks to chicks, you're like, dude, this isn't how normal dudes talk and act towards chicks. Like this is over the top. This is how a gay guy would act towards a chick that was trying to act <laughs> straight. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the whole his whole time in comics. And so I was like, that dude, like he's young, he has a look. I think he would he would pull it off. And then moving straight into that, uh, Archangel slash Archangel, uh, Lucas Till. I'm like, he has to be like an uppity rich white kid, but it's also still nice and sweet, you know? Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> yeah. Free drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Like, <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, for Mr. Sinister, I have Javier Bardem. He's been a great villain so many times, dude. I think he could pull that off. He has this great accent. I think he could do it. David Tennant. Yeah. 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 For sure. He he makes he, he does good villains. Yeah. Uh, and then this is the last one I have. Uh, Sebastian Shaw. Uh, James Fran for or Frain for Sebastian Shaw. So the more you dwindle down, that you're going more obscure. Yeah. So it's kind of like harder. Well, hopefully we'll have like reference pictures because even I don't remember exactly some of these because I had to search hard for these. But yeah, so that's that's it there. Uh, someone also wanted uh, a little insight on the Rise of the Beast G.I. Joe crossover. Now that the uh, strikes are over, I think they will be moving forward with that. I don't know if we're going to... Because I have read reports that, that they're going to be going forward. I don't know in what capacity. I don't know if... The Wayne's brothers are going to be in this one. They're coming back, or if The Rock's coming back, I would. I'd love The Rock in the GI Joe movies. I, I, those the second, the later ones, I thought that were pretty solid. I would love to see a crossover with the two. But the way that they did, like the end of the most recent Rise of the Beasts, they had a similar suit that they did in the other GI Joe movies, and that's why it seemed like it was going that way. But then. They kind of undid that, so I don't know. It's 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 confusing. We'll see if it actually fully happens. I think it'll go forward now that the strikes are over. So we'll see. But yeah, 
Um, I mean, I, I would rather see them team up with Kiss. <laughs> yeah, the the Transformers of Kiss would be way cooler. Okay, you know Kiss has teamed up with just about everyone. Yeah, right. Even the Ninja Turtles <laughs> uh, and the uh, Martians. They fought the Martians too in Mars Attacks. <laughs> that's wild. So we are rocking our merch. Like and the finest merchandise this time ever shown on sale today. Come on down. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Combination hookah and coffee maker. Also makes chili and fries. Will not break. Will not... It broke. Oh, look at this. I have never seen one of these intact before. This is the famous Dead Sea Tupperware. Listen. <clears throat> ah, still good. This is individually made. So you can get something made like this. Not exactly because... Slay J actually made this for me, which was really sweet. We need to get one made for the Ambassador. I've been wanting to make one for the Ambassador that has, like, the Nintendo-style logo uh, with it, and we need to get all of his thing. I mean, he's rocking the TMNT, you know, with the original colors right now. That's that's our design. Uh, but you can get stuff just like this. And same thing, like, the similar with the shorts. Like, these are basketball sports shorts. Like, you can get the same stuff on our website. Check it out at tntmtheshow.com. Right now for our Merch of the Month, we have Doctor Who, Indiana Jones, probably going to throw in some Pokemon, and that stuff, the actual stuff that says Talk to Me, that stuff, $17.99, free shipping as well, since it's Merch of the Month, and then, um, and Doctor Who stuff, and I'm at, we're adding stuff throughout the month, so keep on checking out the website for new stuff all month long, and then we'll probably do one more podcast where we just round off what we... Uh, our favorite stuff of the year. Favorite yeah. game, favorite movie, favorite show. And M yeah. Maybe not have Spider-Man 2 get, like, uh, denied everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So, uh, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's it for us, right? Yeah. Talk S nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, Planet Earth.